Please don't let this man get on YouTube and keep talking about he ain't never been in a relationship because he's talked to so many people so many seriously. <laughs> yeah. Just because he has never had the title, oh, we are boyfriends, it's not me. He has never been in a relationship. I've never he been in a relationship. Plenty yeah. connections with people. He has done things with people. He has been in this whole little ACL dating scene just as the rest of us. <laughs> First of all, the video is messed up now because somebody wants to call you. Hey. That is not my babe, please. I didn't say that was your babe. I definitely am. I don't know what he's saying. Oh. I don't know what he's saying. again with yet another YouTube video. If you are not a part of the Xavier family, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share this video to all of your friends and family in order for you to be a part of the Xavier fam. This is Xavier doing Xavier things for the Xavier fam, and you guys already know what I'm about to say. If you don't give your all, you can't do it all. Period. So for today's video, I'm here with... Oh, um, wait, I need a name. Um, Javon? That's so basic. That's your name. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about dating in the gay community, dating the girls um, as teenagers in Atlanta because everybody knows Atlanta is the city for the gays. So we're basically just going to be describing why I'm single, why, you know. I'm has, single. Whatever he has going on. I'm single. Please don't let him fool you just because he's here. Please. Like I've been saying, I'm single and I've never been in a relationship. Part. Um... So yeah. So why do you feel like you're single? Or how do you feel about dating in the gay community? Especially since you live in Atlanta. Before we even get into this video, make sure y'all see my other videos. Um, shout out my straight best friend, the one with my mom, the one with my brother. Make sure, you know, you're tuning in. Yeah, he has but a whole gay series. I mean, this is like very much com. Please. <laughs> so make sure you see my other videos. Make sure to click up above in order to see them. Okay, so Jamon. How do you feel about dating in the gay community? Um, I feel like it's really annoying in Atlanta because everybody knows. Should I not say annoying? Is that bad? I mean, no, it's not I bad. I don't care. I mean, what are they going to do? They're not going to come to my house. Like, whatever. Of course, some of them know where you live because they've been over there. You thought that was funny? <laughs> Basically, everybody in Atlanta knows everybody, so it's like if you talk to one person, then everybody's gonna know. And if anything happens with that person, then everybody's gonna know. I just think it's not really beneficial for me because relationships just all in the same. Like, you're gonna get hurt eventually, you're gonna break up, like, it's just a whole lot of, so I'm like, whatever. At this point, I'm just gonna start, you know, building my brand and really trying to start my life. Honestly, why I'm single is because nobody, I feel like nobody gets me. Nobody gets me enough to have conversation with me and really care about me. Like, I've had relationships, but like, I don't want to tear up. Oh my goodness, girl, please. The people, they just, they just are so like, the gays these days are just hung up on themselves. Like, you what you are just talking, you were just talking about doing the same thing. Building the brand like you are literally contradicting yourself. No. How do you feel, Zayster? Back to you. <laughs> Please. Um, I'm single because I have a lot of standards. There are certain things that I just don't allow. So I yeah, I'm not letting up on them because I can be very stubborn. When it comes to things that I say I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do them. If there's certain things that I can't accept, then I can't accept them. So I would say my standards get in a way of a lot of why I'm not in a relationship. Number two, I don't trust often. It takes me a long time to actually trust someone and tell them everything that's going on and me actually to like confide in them. That's the second thing. And like the third thing is just, I'm very like, mm, I'm very like, busy 
So a lot of people like try talking to me and they do this thing where they don't reply for like an hour or something. And the difference between me and them is that I have a very like busy schedule. So I know how to manage my time if I want to talk to someone. And if I know that I'm busier than someone that I'm trying to talk to and they're not making time to like put an effort in talking to me, then it's not going to work because I know that I'm busier. So why aren't you like putting in effort it's just not making any sense so it's just an excuse so i would say my standards um kind of they really are the things that get in a way of me being in a relationship so that's why i've never been in a relationship and um you yeah. want to know why you're single let me let the viewers in on a little bit of tea i feel like xavier is single because like he said his standards are too much but he doesn't want to compromise like, i'm not compromising see? i'm not no you don't settle for less it, no, that compromising is settling. If you're in a relationship, everybody knows there's a little bit of communication, compromise, or anything. It's ever like, if this is not the exact boy of my dream, the exact boy that I want, who does this, this not this, my dream, it's not gonna work. Out. I mean, of course, there's like little things here and there. Okay, so I'm gonna read to y'all my standards list that I created when I was a freshman in high school. You have a list. I do. It's in my notes that I created. See, like, who has a list? I do because, hello, you need reminders. So I wrote this on November 9th of 2018 at 6.33 p.m. My standards still stand. You must be taller than me, older than me, have something going for you, a passion, something you truly desire. You must be smart. You must be quick on your toes. Like if something were to happen, you must know what to do. A nice body, a nice character and attitude. You have to be like goofy and funny because I like not like to make jokes and I'm very sarcastic so you can't like take offense to it. Please don't listen to him. I know what I'm talking about. I know myself. You have to be apologetic because sometimes I won't apologetic. be the Apologetic? Yes, because I'm not going, I, sometimes I'm not the first to apologize. Although sometimes I am, most of the times I'm not. So they're gonna have to be apologetic because sometimes, yeah. Anyways. I men with problems. Argue with me. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really like to argue. I just don't like soft boys. Like if you're gonna get hurt over something I said, you can kick rock. Well, not to him, but like, you know. <laughs> You Anyways, you can't be petty because sometimes I can be petty and if you think you're gonna be petty with me Then there's a problem. You need to have the element of surprise. I like spontaneous stuff. I like surprises um, You need to understand and take me seriously because I play too much sometimes I play too much a lot So sometimes I might be joking with you and I don't need you to be taking me seriously because most of the stuff I say is like for the birds literally um, Not to be afraid to show me off in public don't have time for that You need to know that I'm here for you and open and open up to me because when times get rough, you know, I'll be there. You need to, <laughs> you need to be a little thug. Cause you know, sometimes you know, thug. I said a little, like, you know, you keep, you, sometimes you like them rough around the edges. They can't just be like, like soft. Like how you said, like, I like them a little thug. So you want an apologetic, busy thug. I didn't say, hey, please, stop, talk, stop talking, let me finish. All the viewers rewind back. Anyways, let me finish before you start talking. You must have a great smile, you must have great hair, you know, sometimes long hair, short hair, I just like people with good hair that know how to take care of it. Um, Cause I love to play in here, honestly, so if you have long hair, that's great. Um, you, you need to have goals that you want to reach in a relationship. I feel like relationships can get very boring if you don't have goals. Like, what are goals? Like, like goals. you know, like after a certain time, like I We're gonna get a house. No, not like, not like that. I'm, I mean, kind of like that, but not really like, okay, I want you to meet my parents around like this month. I want us to be actually dating at this month. You plan that? No, you, you don't like plan it. Like be like, okay, this is a schedule and this was happening, but you kind of like have an idea like of goals that you want because if you don't see the relationship going anywhere then what's the point in keeping it that's another thing too i lose interest very fast like, that's what i'm saying i you can have to goals. literally be with somebody one week and then the next day i'm just like i just don't see this going anywhere and i'll literally just cut it off like so fast even my mom says like you just lose interest so fast again i'm like yeah because that's why you need to have goals in a relationship um kind open-minded um, because I like to do a lot of stuff, so I need you to be open-minded because I like crazy stuff. Um, optimistic, caring, family appreciative because I definitely want to meet your family and I want you to meet mine. Great hygiene. Hygiene is the biggest thing, especially teeth. Like, I'm a teeth fanatic now because I started caring about my teeth a lot more. fake teeth and watch, he's gonna edit that out, but I hope it gets in. Y'all, I, I don't have fake teeth. Is. He's just mad because his teeth look like...
You need to have a great natural scent. I like people with natural scent. Um, blow my phone. It's it's really cute. Like when people act like kind of stalkerish or like they blow up your phone. Like it's cute to me because it shows to me that you care. It's not like stalkerish. Like oh, I know where you are 24 seven. Like I'm controlling you. But it's just like I take the time out of my day to like check up on you. Like to do background checks because I see a future with you. So I want to know like what background check, honey. I literally, if somebody blows up my phone, I will probably put them on Do Not Disturb. Like, their singular message on Do Not Disturb. Not if you really like them. Yeah. I don't like when people blow up my phone. Like, don't do that. Because if I'm not on my phone, for there's a reason I'm not on my phone. If you're blowing up my phone, that makes me think, oh my god, something is happening that I need to see my phone right now. And if I check in, you're just like, text me back. No. No, I think it's cute because, like, if I'm at dance practice and, like... I come back to my phone and it's just like, hey, I miss you. Like, that is cute. But that's not blowing up your phone. That's just saying they miss you. Like, that's No, but like blowing up like, hey, 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 I miss you. And then like they spell in and out. Like, that's cute. Like, that's still is blowing up. Oh, you won't please. But that's cute. Like, that's cute stuff. Like, I think that's very cute. Hey, 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 hey. It's cute. <laughs> um, Random factor. That's the same thing as being spontaneous. Religious. How do you feel about that? Not like, not, I don't think like super religious, but like religious to the point like where you believe in something, like an afterlife. I mean, I don't think it's that important. I wouldn't say that's like a thing that I just need to have to be in a relationship. Like, I want you to have like faith in something, but yeah, that's like, you what don't I mean. have to be like, oh, if you don't believe in the whole religion thing, like I'm not going to be like, oh my God, that is a no. But if you're too hard, then... I like them. Um, well, you need to know how to dress. Um, you need to be like a little. I like them a little crazy. Crazy goes with like kind of stalkerish, like a little bit, not like crazy <laughs> obsessive. Um, yeah, and last but not least, like be all for me. Like if I wanna, if I say I'm gonna change something or I wanna do something different, like I need you to be like, yes, like go do that. Like I see it, like my supporter. Not throwing a lot of you. No, not lie to me. I mean, if you like, I want you to be honest with me. Like, no, honesty like, is a big thing. Not about theme. that. Like, do you want? Do you want your like significant other to lie to you? No. Like, if you just are having a bad day, you put on an outfit, and you're like, "Baby, does this look good?" Like, you want them to be like, "You look good, babe." Or would you rather? No, I want them to be like, "Okay, Tiffany, like, yeah, no, it's a bad day, but like, let's let's try something else." <laughs> like, I need to. Like, okay. Like, I'd rather be like, "Take it off, bro. You look stupid." I'm <laughs> like, yeah, you know, I do. Probably. I think that, yeah, because also with me being in a relationship, I consider myself a brand and I, you branding yourself is like very strategic, very well thought out, very planned. And when you're in a relationship, you're adding someone to your brand. You're giving someone else like the opportunity to like deteriorate or mess up your brand and no. Like, I'd be too busy to be heartbroken. I can't be heartbroken doing all this stuff. It's gonna make me literally stop all of it and deal with my emotions. And I don't got time to deal with my emotions. I got life to live. So, yeah. That kind of happened to me. All my feelings got deteriorated or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stop feeling. So I just don't do that anymore. And I guess a lot of people say that's a problem with me. This is not the Vampire care. Diaries. No, it's not Vampire Diaries. I just... People just say I don't care a lot about situations because I don't. I mean, I just feel like I'm not going to put my time in something. First of all, it really be situations where I'm not even with somebody and something happens and they'd be like, oh, you just act like you don't even care. Yeah, I don't because what am I about to put all of my time and energy into you for? You're not even, we're nothing official. That's exactly why I... Well, you would. No, that's why, that's exactly why like, I don't like, when I start talking to someone like seriously, when, well, when I do, I'll put my all into them because you no, know, my thing is like I'll rather I rather put my all into one person, make sure that I've talked to well not talked to but in, have encountered several people, so I know what I like, I know what I feel, I know when I genuinely feel like someone cares for me, they're there for me, and they actually get me. That's why I don't trust easily, and that's why I've never been in a relationship because. Yeah, no. Because I, I know that when I get, like, when I say that someone's my boyfriend, I'm putting my all into them. And that's why, yeah, like, people be like, yeah, no. Little do y'all know, I dated a girl. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Don't be
my advice to the Atlanta gays, I would say, for me, I don't stop. think- Stop! Stop! Just stop. If you ask me, I think the community is like well known, but I think like if you find someone, then sometimes they won't be found. Because I have found people. If you find someone, sometimes they won't be found. By others. Because I found some people that I've talked to that no one knows. That no one that I follow follows. And that says a lot because I follow a lot of people. I know a lot of people. So if they, if nobody that I know follows you or has liked any of your posts, and you like that, that tells me a lot. It tells me that you're not like on the scene, like you're not trying to do too much. Like it's different. You just have to find the right people. Yeah, my advice is to wait for the right person. You will know, like you will know when you actually like genuinely love and care for someone, it'll like hit you. But um. I say don't wait. If you want a relationship, now if you're like me and you don't want a relationship, definitely just wait for the right person, like he said. But if you want a relationship, don't let nobody tell you the way. You go out there, you experience, you try to be with as many people as you can. You'll find the right one. I mean, I want a relationship, but I'm not going to be out here willy-nilly just getting into relationships. No. That's your... That's that your makes, opinion. like, that just, like, I'm sorry. That just doesn't sit right with me. Like, just to have a lot of people say, oh, yeah, like, I did exhibit. Like, no, you didn't. Like, that's just, no. I her, 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 her. It's just giving me very much... Get a vibes. Well, that's all I have for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share this video to all of your friends and family in order for you to be part of the Savvy Fam. Don't come to the next function unless you did all four of those things and take it personal, because I meant it. So go do it now. Now! This is Xavier doing Savvy Things for the Savvy Fam, and you guys already know what I'm about to say. If you don't give your all, you can't do it all. You can't Period. Do it. Bye, Zaysters. I just wanted to come on here and say, when any of you hot rocks are out there looking for love in Atlanta, hit me up, maybe. Maybe we can make a match, baby.